says these pictures taken by a watchful neighbor are working to solve a puzzle, but he still has a whole lot of questions. That pastor Mark Miller says the sign outside of Westminster Presbyterian Church on Del Mar was destroyed last August. He originally thought it was the work of vandals, but it is something much more shocking. Caroline Hecker explains what he says happened and the concerning pattern forming. Sitting at the corner of Del Mar and Union Boulevards is Westminster Presbyterian Church. Pastor Mark Miller says one day last August, he noticed something didn't look right. Like I just drove up to the intersection. I looked over and I thought, oh my gosh, the sign is what, like it's gone. As he got closer, he realized the 100 year old sign sitting on a limestone base had been seemingly run over. Straight line tracks that came directly to the flower bed. After falling victim to vandalism the year before, Miller assumed the vandals had struck again. Days went by and he heard nothing. That was until a neighbor sent him these pictures, which he says shows a St. Louis Metro police cruiser sitting where his sign once stood. The one curiosity for me was when I walked around the next day looking at the site is there were no broken pieces of a car and usually you would expect if there was an accident that there would be pieces of, of an automobile. Um, so it looked like it had been cleaned up. He took the photos to the police department. Within 15 minutes he says an officer called him claiming a brake problem caused the accident. That's what I was told that there was a high speed chase that instead of hitting a car in front of them that the brakes had obviously worn down or there was some issue with the brake line and that they had chose to drive up into the yard. Since then, he hasn't been given a police report, hearing very little from the police for the last several months. With news of recent crashes involving police cruisers, like at South City's Bar PM, he decided to speak up. The piece that bothers me is that it was cleaned up and if it hadn't been for those pictures, we would have never known. And that to me is disingenuous. And the fact that we've never got an apology, the fact that no one's ever come forward and said, you're right, we shouldn't have done that. And you can see what's left now. Pieces of beveled glass still remain, leaving churchgoers searching for a new sign and accountability. In St. Louis, Caroline Hecker, First Alert 4. Well, based on our reporting, we have counted at least seven crashes involving city police cruisers in the last few months. First Alert 4 requested the police report from this incident. The church says... It is in the process of collecting bids for a new sign likely in the range of $20,000. We're learning new details.